trainers i'm back again with another video back again with another video back 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 again with another video so when you see this gorgeous and handsome face might i add you already know that there's more pokemon go info so in today's video guys i'm sure you already know what's coming out for april but i'm gonna be diving more in depth into it and uh like a youtuber should you know what i mean but i'm also gonna be talking about um, the IVs of all the Pokemon that's supposed to be, that's coming out in April, uh, cause it's, the events that we're getting for April, I think it's pretty good, you know what I mean, it's not a ton of hype, but it's pretty good, uh, some people can argue different, but that's just my own thoughts, my belief, but anyway, that's not what this video is about, what we're going to talk about, and what this video is about, uh, yeah, is basically... Talking about April's uh, Community Day, we're going to be talking about the Pokemon that's coming as um, far as like legendary wise and much more. But with that said guys, we're not going to jump into this video now, but we're going to jump into this video right now. Let's go. Alright, so trainers, basically we're going to jump right into it. So obviously we have a brand new app because we had a brand new update a couple days ago by Niantic and it rolled out. So here's what rolled out for Android and iOS. So new Pokemon Go update version 1.169.1 and 0.203.1 now live on iOS and Android with new pink app icon. All right, so here's what's updated for iOS. So again, 1.169.1 is for iOS. So it says, trainers, there's always something new in Pokemon Go. We're excited to announce that a referral program will be coming soon to Pokemon Go. Seasons of Legends begins from legendary Pokemon to legendary trainers. This season will celebrate legendary, will celebrate legends in Pokemon Go. Level up achievement sharing feature inventory selection improvements and fixes to raid invites so now we're going to jump into the update for android which is 0 0.203.1 all right so here it is it says trainers there's always something new in pokemon go we're excited to announce that a referral program will be coming to pokemon go season of legends begins basically the same thing from for ios uh from legendary Pokemon to legendary trainers this season will celebrate legends in Pokemon Go, level up achievement sharing feature, inventory selection improvements, and fixes to raid invites. Because people was having problems with their raid passes and everything like that and uh, inviting people to uh, do raids and everything like that. So all of that's being fixed through these updates. Here's the updates. We're going to talk about the bug fixes right after this. So, anyway, for the updates, it says trainers. With these updates, trainers can now more easily select all units of an item by tapping the minus button when the selection is at 1. Instead of having to press the plus sign to get to the maximum number, when you complete a timed research task in your today view that rewards a Pokemon encounter, it will order itself to be on the top of the page if you exit the encounter. Level up research notifications will now appear from left side of the screen to differentiate them from other research progress notifications. Added the message times up to notify you when the timer runs out for gym battles. So when you're in gym battles, you're going to see an icon now pop up saying times up. So that's a, one of the new features. Now, here are the bug fixes. All right. 
So, the bug fixes is basically, it fixed a bug that forced trainers to use free or premium battle passes when invited to a raid accompanied by a walk closer message. Because trainers was actually having problems with that and I've seen it actually on Twitter for myself. Uh, whenever, you know, trainers were using their premium raid passes, sometimes it wouldn't go through or sometimes if they used a remote raid pass, uh, it would just use their regular pass or vice versa, the regular pass and it'll actually use their raid pass, uh, remote raid pass. Uh, it was just a whole bunch of crazy stuff that was going on. So basically, with this, these two new updates, uh, basically those bug fixes were actually done. Now, it says trainers are now able to join the raid they're invited to with a re remote raid pass. Now, allow candy XL ex exchanges when the trainer has the exact number of candy to convert to candy XL. Fix a bug in Pokemon. Fix a bug in Go Battle League that displayed the Pokemon Switch menu. Again, if a Pokemon was switched out at the same time as it fainted. Fix an issue in Go Battle League in which the switch buttons were unavailable at the end of the charge attack animation. Fix a bug that occasionally made trainers unable to invite some friends to raids until they changed their until they changed their search. Fix the bug where if a trainer's Bluetooth was turned off, the connect to Nintendo Switch option would still display. Fix a visual bug in which purified Shadow Pokemon still showed Shadow Pokemon features after purification. Fix several Russian and other language UI issues. Fix Pokemon icons failing to appear in the in-app notification. So basically those are all the bug fixes. So with this new update, everything should be. All right, so here we go. Here's everything that's gonna be going on in the month of April. So you can prepare. Learn all about April's events here. It says, trainers, we hope you're prepared for a month of exciting Pokemon encounters and bonuses. Now, the first thing that's gonna be happening is save Shadow Zapdos from Giovanni. It says, this month, Giovanni will have Shadow Zapdos in his grasp if you haven't already, because remember, we had Shadow uh, Zapdos before, so we're getting it again. So that's also cool. Uh, and we just recently did Shadow Articuno, which we had it once before, uh, before prior. I think it was like last year somewhere. But anyway, so that's the second time we actually had it. So I think Niantic is actually doing this twice, and obviously we're going to get Shadow Moltres like that so it's gonna be like twice so this way everybody gets it and not that and obviously that's why Niantic is actually doing it so now here it says if you haven't already complete the latest team go rocket special research the higher they fly to earn a super rocket radar this will help you track down the team rocket team go rocket boss and save shadow zapdos you can also receive a super rocket radar from time research that'll be available during the first week of April. So there's that. So obviously, Rocket Radar, Shadow Zapdos, Shadow Articuno, Shadow Moltres. And uh, yeah, so if you don't have it, now's your time to get all that you need to complete what you have to complete. Here we go. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is April Research Breakthrough Encounters. So from Thursday, April 1st at 1 p.m. to Saturday, May 1st, at 1 p.m. PDT, you'll encounter male frillish and research breakthrough encounters. Now, for people that don't have the female version, the female version can be found out in the wild. Um, not really sure about eggs, but it definitely can be found out in the wild. It cannot be shiny. But the male frillish, you can actually get from Gold Battle League, but for those that don't like playing Gold Battle League, such as myself, well, now you have a chance to get it from this breakthrough research. For next month so that's a ton of hype and i knew we was going to get it so for everybody that held off and or was kind of low-key complaining about not being able to get male frillish now's your chance to get it and then get it to evolve form jellison now it says featured pokemon in five star raids and mega raids the following legendary pokemon will be appearing in five star raids throughout april all right, so Theory Form Tornadus will make its Pokemon Go debut in five star raids. Again, remember, Theory Forms do not have their shinies released yet. Just the incarnate forms. Now, again, Theory Form Tornadus will make its Pokemon Go debut in five star raids on Tuesday, March 30th, 
at 10 a.m. local time and will depart on Tuesday, April 13th at 10 a.m. local time. Theory informed Landorus will make its Pokemon Go debut in 5 star raids on Tuesday, April 13th at 10 a.m. local time and will depart on Tuesday, April 27th at 10 a.m. local time. Now, Incarnate Forms Tornadus can be shiny, Incarnate Forms Thunderous can be shiny, and Incarnate Forms Landorus can be shiny will be appearing in 5 star raids starting Tuesday, April 27th at 10 a.m. local time. If you're lucky, you might even encounter a shiny Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus, as I just stated. Now, for those of you that have not had a chance at these shinies, uh, theory, not theory forms, but incarnate forms, now's your chance to actually go back and do so. If you have had a chance, but you was unsuccessful for getting these shinies, now's your chance to do so. Now, the one that I'm missing is Shiny Landorus. I have Thunderous and Tornadus, they're shiny forms. I just still need Shiny Landorus. I've raided for a long time, could not get it, so hopefully I get it this time. And then after that, it'll be a success for me. Now, hopefully it's, a, and it, it's gonna be a success for you as well. So, with that being said guys, let's jump into more of this. All right, so in addition, the following Mega Evolved Pokemon will be appearing in Mega Raids. So you got Mega Houndoom, can be shiny. Mega Mainetric, can be shiny. Not obviously in their Mega Forms, but after you defeat their Mega Forms, but you can get it in their Evolved Forms after defeating the Mega Raids. Um, and Mega Abomasnow will be appearing in Mega Raids, and Abomasnow can be shiny after defeating its Mega Form as well. Uh, until Sunday, April 4th, at 10 a.m. local time. Now, on Sunday, April 4th at 10 a.m. local time, a surprise Mega Evolved Pokemon Pokemon will, will be appearing in Mega Raids. So we don't know what that is yet. Maybe, like I said, it might be Aerodactyl because I remember in the past they were talking about Mega Aerodactyl. I'm not really sure, but uh, Aerodactyl can be shiny now, just to throw that out there. But we just basically have to see. And I'm seeing that Niantic is actually giving us uh, new Mega Forms like every other month or every month. So that's pretty cool too, and it's adding some new features and new events like that to Pokemon Go. So that's cool for, on Niantic's behalf. Now, with that being said, um, it says it will continue to appear in Mega Raids for the rest of the month. Stay tuned for more details. Now, Mega Gengar and Mega Magnetric will appear in Mega Raids from Monday, April 5th at 10 a.m. to Tuesday, April 20th at 10 a.m. local time. Now, remember, they can also be shiny. Mega Venusaur and Mega Bombasnow will appear in Mega Raids beginning on Tuesday, April 20th at 10 a.m. local time. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be talking about is Pokemon Spotlight Hours. So, in the month of April, Pokemon Spotlight Hour will take place every Tuesday from 6 p.m. To 7 p.m. local time and each of these hours will spotlight a different Pokemon and special bonus. So from Tuesday April 6th, Buneary will be in the spotlight and you will earn twice the candy for transferring Pokemon. So Buneary can be shiny. If you don't have that shiny, now's your chance to go out there and try to get that shiny. Tuesday April 13th, Mankey will be in the spotlight and you'll earn twice the XP for evolving Pokemon. Mankey can be shiny. And just like Buneary, if you don't have that shiny, now is your time to do so to get that shiny. Tuesday, April 20th. Now, here's something that I will take part in. Grimer will be in the spotlight, and you'll earn twice the starters for catching Pokemon. For one thing, I need another Kanto Grimer. And I'm, I believe they're talking about that, and they're not talking about uh, the Alolan form Grimer, because I believe that can only hatch from eggs. Tuesday, April 27th. Finian will be in the spotlight and you'll earn twice the XP for catching Pokemon. Now I still will never understand why Niantic does this. Why don't they just make all the Pokemon where they can be shiny? So, but Finian can't be shiny. Good spotlight hours. Hopefully you're getting your shinies. Hopefully you can uh, evolve them because their evolution forms also have great shinies. Uh, with that being said, we're going to get into April Community Day. Alright, so now we're going to talk about April Community Day. Featuring Snivy. 
Now, says join us Sunday, April 11th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time for a community day event featuring Snivy. Now, Snivy was actually released before his community day, so Snivy, Shiny Snivy is actually already out. But Shiny Snivy was always hard to get, so now we're actually, we'll be able to easily get it Shiny form now. So, with that being said, it says, Evolve Servine, the evolution of Snivy during the event or up to two hours afterwards to get a superior that knows Frenzy Plant. Upcoming new events. Stay tuned for details about these upcoming events. So we're gonna talk about that. But before we do, we're gonna go back a little bit and continue to talk about Snivy because I actually missed this. Okay, so the feature, Snivy will be appearing more frequently in the wild. If you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny one. So, Evolve Servine, the evolution of Snivy, Snivy during the event or up to two hours afterwards to get a, a superior that knows the attack frenzy point, as I just stated. But here's what I failed to mention. Take a few snapshots during Community Day for a surprise. There will be a special one-time purchase Community Day box available for 1,280 Pokecoins featuring 50 Ultra Balls, 4 Star Pieces, and 4 Mossy Lure Modules and an Elite Charge TM. Now that's pretty good. For US $1 or the equivalent pricing tier in your local currency, you'll be able to access the Snivy Community Day exclusive special research story, Snivy in the Sunshine. So that's what it'll be called. Stay tuned for when tickets for the Snivy in the Sunshine special research story go live. Tickets are now refundable. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get into the bonuses. All right, so for the bonuses, it's three times catch Stardust. And incense activated during the event will last for three hours. So good luck on your community day. And I hope you're getting those shinies. And uh, you're getting a brand new move of Frenzy Plant for Superior. Now with that being said, we're going to continue from where we left off last. Upcoming new events. Stay tuned for details about these upcoming events. So we're going to talk about the Team Go Rocket time research. So from Thursday, April 1st at 12 a.m. to Thursday, April 8th at 11.59 p.m. local time. Be sure to complete timed research to get a super rocket radar, which you can use to battle Giovanni. Spring into spring. From Sunday, April 4th to Thursday, April 8th, you can look forward to a spring themed event. Look out for Chansey, can be shiny, Blissey, and Happiny. Happiny can be shiny, and Blissey can only be shiny once you evolve shiny Blissey. Uh, shiny Chansey, rather. Uh, anyway. They're going to be wearing flower crowns and as well as other spring and egg themed surprises. Then we're going to have something called Rivals Week. So we're going to talk about that. All right. Rivals Week. So from Tuesday, April 13th to Sunday, April 18th, Pokemon that are rivals will be featured, including some Pokemon making their Pokemon Go debut. So on April 13th, expect to see some brand new Pokemon. Technically is what they're saying. So, they have another event called Sustainability Week. From Tuesday, April 20th to Sunday, April 25th, you can look forward to a sustainability-themed event. Pokemon like Grimer, can be shiny, Trubbish, and more will be appearing more frequently in the wild, and it's all of, and it's up to all of us to catch them. Now, obviously, at some point, is probably gonna release some new shinies, maybe a shiny, new shiny Trubbish, not really sure, but uh, yeah. So, here it says Friendship Day. On Saturday, April 24th, celebrate friendship with a brand new event. And April will end with a snappy event that will continue into May. So keep a lookout for more details later in the in April. Now, not to extend this any further, but I just want to let you guys know a lot of people I've noticed on Twitter has been complaining about events on top of the event. Just know that you don't have to play. You do not have to play. You can do anything else but play the events. But if you want to play the events, that's up to you. How you play the game is always up to you. So, but don't take the fun out of it for everybody else. Make sure you go out there getting them shinies and everything like that. Just enjoy the game the way you want to play. So, with that being said, guys, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the weekly free bundles. And then we're going to talk about the breakdown. The actually what's in the, um, the new event for the April Fool's Day event. And a lot more with that coming up. So... I don't know if any of you know about that event, but I'm going to tell you about it. So stay tuned. 
All right, so weekly free bundles. Every Monday in April, a free one-time bundle containing a remote raid pass and other items will be available in the shop. So, with that said, like I said, we're going to start talking about the breakdown for the April Fool's Day event and everything that's in this APK code that uh, from Niantic. So, here we go. All right, trainers, so we're going to talk about the last and final part of this video, and that is the APK breakdown for the new April Fool's Day event, and along with some brand new Pokemon that may be coming to Pokemon Go. So we're on Pokemon Go Hub, and uh, yeah, a reliable site, by the way. It says, new evolution methods, raining lure, April Fool's Day, and other events spotted in Pokemon Go's network traffic. So I'm going to put this link in the description so you can check it out. I'm just going to scroll through it. So you can really check it out because I don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be. But just to give you an idea, a synopsis of what's going on in these events. Alright, so it says, Hello Trainers, a bundle of text updates has been pushed to Pokemon Go, including text for the Rainy Lure, which I made a video of, special evolution requirements, an April Fool's Day event, a new collection challenge, and more. So it says, read the Pokemoners post here. So... Obviously, they made a post about it. Like I said, most of you may not know about this, so I'm letting you guys know about it now. All right, so item underscore Troy underscore disc underscore rainy name text uh, rainy lure module. A wet lure module that attracts Pokemon for 30 minutes, especially ones that love the rain. It can also cause some Pokemon to evolve. So obviously, that's Slagoo, Gumi, and Gudra. So, they're obviously coming sometime soon to Pokemon Go. Maybe for the springtime because remember, spring is the rainy season. Next up, it says Pokemon that these new evolution methods could introduce. Sligu evolves in the main series games if it's in rainy weather. Tyrant only evolves during the day and Amora only evolves at night. NK evolves when you console Oh, when your console, in our case, the phone is turned upside down. So we may be seeing these Pokemon sometime soon for this month of spring. Or month of... Here it is. Special evolution. Special Evo prompt daytime. Uh, can only during the daytime. Oh, you can only evolve during the daytime. Uh, special Evo prompt nighttime. Can only evolve during nighttime. So like I said, I'm just going to scroll through it. So technically, they're gonna have special ways to evolve Pokemon in the weather. So, and I've been saying that for the longest, because I thought that's how they were gonna have Glaceon come out only when it's snowing, and then you evolve them like that. But I see that they're doing it now, so that's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, like I said, hopefully we see these Pokemon sometime really soon. All right, so this is the April. Earth Week has been announced, but not Earth Day specifically. The rest of them are announced, or we've been familiar with them for a while. Um, so here's what it is right here. So it says April Fool's Day, Earth Day event name. Obviously, you already know about the uh, Sustainability Week. I just read that. And Extravaganza, Festival of Colors. Obviously, that's only for India. But the shirts is, is going to be for everybody around the world, and it's in the in-game shop right now as we speak. And also, like I said, Easter event collection challenge. I already mentioned that. So we're going to get into the next part. All right. So before I wrap up this video, we're going to be talking about, uh, I'm not really sure what this is, but it's just bas basically uh, new poses for your avatar. So at least say po uh, pose and uh, it, uh, basically and it says something about a bundle. So I, I don't know if it's going to be just one or a whole bunch of them. Not really sure, but it's just going to be new poses technically for your avatar. And then obviously they have new clothes uh, for Festival of Colors, uh, which like I said, is only in India. So if you're not in India, that doesn't really concern you unless you're a spoofer. But yeah, so that's basically it. So that's everything in a, in a nutshell that's happening in April. We're getting all these events, April Fool's Day event, uh, extravaganza event, so forth and so on, Rayquaza and everything else. So hopefully, like I said, it's a ton of hype going on for the month of next month, month of April. 2021 uh if you like this video make sure you go ahead and like comment and subscribe share my video where we share cool stuff comment down below smack a like on this video turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my latest videos make sure you press the notification bell so you'll be the first to get my videos when i upload 
And as always, guys, peace and love. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Keep your head up. And remember to...